Hi everyone and welcome to Himas Academy. Today I'll show you how to make a dinosaur dance fight. This is how our dance fight will look like after we're done. Shall we dance battle? Let's do it. Start the music. Now I'll show you how to code this. First I opened a new project on Scratch and signed in. First I'll delete the Scratch sprite and then choose a sprite. I'll go into Animals and choose Dinosaur 2. Next I'll go into Animals again and choose Dinosaur 4. Next I'll choose a background. I'll go into space and choose nebula. You can choose any other background. Now I'll position these characters. I'm going to rename dinosaur 2 as dinosaur 1 and Dinosaur 4 as Dinosaur 2. Then I'll save this project. First I'll code Dinosaur 1 by clicking on it and then I'll go into Events and get the When Green Flag is clicked because I want it to start when I click the green flag. So I'll go into motion and get the go to x, y. You can see the position of your sprite at the bottom. So when you click green flag, it will go to that position. Next, I wanted to say something. Set the color effect to zero since I'll be using color effects in this. Next, I'll switch the costume to the starting position, which is Dinosaur 2A. It's still called Dinosaur 2 because it was originally Dinosaur 2 before I changed it to Dinosaur 1. Next, I'll go into control and get the forever loop for the dance. Forever, I want it to go to the next costume and then change the color effect by 25, which will make it different colors. I don't want it to go immediately, so I'll get the wait block. I want it to wait 0 0.25 seconds which is not too much or too less. So this is how it will look like. Next, I'll code Dinosaur 2. I'll go into Events and get the When Green Flag is Click block. Then I'll go to Motion and get the Go to XY and choose my coordinates. Next, I'll do the same thing. I'll set the color effect to zero, since I'm going to be using color effects for this too. And then switch the costume to Dinosaur 4A, which is the starting costume. I want my dinosaur to be facing the center and it should only move left and right. So in motion, I'll get the 
set rotation style left right which will make it only turn left and right next i'll point in direction minus 90 which is toward the center next i'll go to control and get the forever loop for the dance the same as before i'll go into looks and get the next costume block which will switch it the costume to the next one then change the color effect by 25 and then wait 0 0.25 seconds so this is how it will look like now i want my dinosaurs to talk so i'll add before i'll save this project and then i want the new extension so i'll click new extension i'll choose the text to speech extension which requires wi-fi Here we have three new blocks. So first I need to set the voice. I don't want both the voices to be the same. So I'll set dinosaur one to uh, week and dinosaur 2 to 10 or and then i'll save this project so i don't lose it next i want it to speak so i'll get the speak block after i'm done setting my costume and color effect i want it to say First, I want Dinosaur 2 to speak, so I'll go to Dinosaur 2, and I want it to speak, Shall we dance battle? After it asked, shall we dance battle? Shall we speak dinosaur dance battle? Next, I'll go to dinosaur one and do the same. I want it to say, let's do it. And then after that's done, I want you to say something else. Start the music. Shall Let's we dance battle? Start the music. Both my dinosaurs are speaking at the same time, which I don't want. So they have to wait. Since Dinosaur 2 is speaking first, I estimate this is about 2 seconds. Which means Dinosaur 1 has to wait 2 seconds before talking. So I'll get the wait and keep it before speak. I want it to wait 1.75. Shall we dance battle? Let's do it. Start the music. This is about right. So I don't want Dinosaur 2 to start dancing immediately. 
So I estimate it's about three seconds, maybe. Three point zero. Shall we dance battle? Let's do it. Start the music. So it will speak after 1.75 and this will speak after 3 seconds. So now I'll see how it looks like. I want it to look like it's actually speaking. So before talking, I wanted to move to Dinosaur 4C, which looks like it's talking. And Dinosaur 4D looks like it's shouting. So I'll go with 4C. So I'll choose 4C. And then after it's done talking, I wanted to move back to Dinosaur 4A and same for Dinosaur 1. Dinosaur D looks like it's talking. So before talking, I'll switch the costume to Dinosaur 4D. And then after it's done, switch costume to dinosaur to A again. So Shall this we dance is how battle? it will look like. Let's do it. Start the music. This is about right. Now I need some music. So I'll click on the stage to code it. And then go to events and then the one green flag is click block. Then I'll get the forever loop. And in mute sound, I'll get play sound until done. We only have pop and record. So here I'll add a sound by clicking choose a sound and then go to precaution. You have multiple sounds here. I like a drum, so I'll click on it. And now I have drum. So I can choose drum. So it'll play sound drum. And then after it's done, it will repeat. First, I'll save this before making any changes. Oh, Shall this we is dance how battle? It will look like. Let's do it. Start the music. The music is starting before it should, before when these two are talking. So I need the wait block. I'll go to Dinosaur 2, and so it's like 3 seconds. I'll go to Control and get Wait five Shall we dance seconds. battle? Let's do Three it. Seconds. Start the music. So Shall we dance five. battle? Let's do it. Start the music. Now I feel like this is correct. So I'll save this.
This is how you make your dinosaur dance battle using Scratch. Thanks for watching and subscribe.